is the future with this IMV Zero. Toyota just launched a $10,000 pickup, and it's the most basic pickup you could ever get. This new truck, the IMVO, will be called the Helix Champ. While all companies are raising prices of their cars, adding lots of software features, Toyota wants to target the common public. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about this car and explain why it's going to be revolutionary. By offering a more basic, lower-priced variant of the Helix, Toyota aims to capture a larger market share in these regions. By leveraging its global supply chain, streamlining production processes, and utilizing cost-effective materials and technologies, Toyota has crafted a truck that promises to deliver on its legendary durability and dependability without compromising safety or reliability. Competitors like Ford, Chevrolet, and Ram, who dominate the U.S. truck market, are now under pressure to adapt to these changing landscapes. These brands, long associated with American muscle and craftsmanship, must find ways to offer more affordable options without compromising their brand image. So this pickup is set to launch in Thailand for about $10,000. The IMVO represents an attractive option in emerging markets. The vehicle is expected to be next available in Mexico later this year, while the U.S. launch would be happening sometime around September 2025. The IMVO is all about simplicity and reliability, stripping down to the essentials without all the fancy bells and whistles you'd find in the modern pickup. No LED lights, power windows, or high-tech gadgets. It's got vinyl seats, a rubber-lined floor, and the most basic of HVAC controls. But don't let that fool you. This truck is built tough and designed to get the job done no matter what. Under the hood, it's rocking a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that puffs out 137 horsepower paired with a 5-speed manual transmission. It's not going to win any drag races, but it's got enough juice to handle whatever you throw at it. And despite its no-frills approach, Toyota made sure this truck is versatile. It's got pre-drilled spots for easy customization, so you can tweak it to your heart's content, whether you need to add cargo racks, bedsides, or whatever else you might need. And here's the kicker. Toyota's not just looking to cash in on the budget truck market. They're setting their sights on dominating the light commercial vehicle segment in emerging markets. By offering a stripped down, more affordable version of the Helux, they're gunning for a bigger slice of the pie in these regions. Of course, pulling off something this ambitious comes with its fair share of challenges. Quality control, safety standards, and keeping production costs low are just the tip of the iceberg. Toyota's got to navigate the tricky waters of global supply chains, material costs, and varying market needs, all while sticking to their guns on affordability and reliability. Now, there's also other big news. Toyota wants to focus on cheaper gas pickups because their CEO is totally against EVs. Let me explain. So, here's the scoop. Akio Toyota, the big boss at Toyota, was super vocal about his doubts on the whole EVs will save the world narrative. While everyone else was jumping on the electric bandwagon, Toyota was like, hold up, let's not put all our eggs in one basket. He was all about giving people choices, not just pushing EVs down everyone's throat. And guess what? The drama didn't stop there. Toyota had a couple of secret projects up its sleeve that could totally flip the script on electric cars. We're talking about a new engine that could go 1,000 miles without needing a refill. Mind-blowing, right? But here's where it gets juicy. At this car show in Tokyo, Toyota drops this bombshell, saying electric cars aren't the only way to be green. He's been saying this stuff for a while, and it's ruffled some serious feathers, to the point where he got ousted from his CEO spot and replaced by this guy Koji Sato. And man, the fallout was intense. Environmentalists and big-time investors started piling on the pressure, demanding Toyota go electric or face the consequences. There was this Danish investment fund sitting on a mountain of cash calling Toyota out for not jumping on the EV train. But Toyota's not backing down. They're like, chill, we've got this. They're saying it's not about banning gas cars, but finding smarter ways to cut down on emissions. And Toyota, he's sticking to his guns, arguing that EVs aren't the be all and end all. He's pointing out that stuff like the hefty price tags on EVs, the charging headaches, and let's not even start on the fire risks and repair nightmares. Then out of nowhere, even Elon Musk's Tesla hits a rough patch, with their stocks taking a nosedive and Musk's fortune taking a $28 billion hit. It's like the universe is saying, maybe Toyota's got a point. 
Despite all the drama, Toyota's not totally ditching the electric dream. They've rolled out some electric models, but Toyota's not betting the farm on them. He's more into exploring all kinds of tech, like super efficient engines and even hydrogen power. But here's the kicker. The political bigwigs are laying down some tough rules, pushing car makers to go electric ASAP, and a leak from Consumer Reports isn't helping, showing that EVs might not be as reliable as we thought. Repair costs? Astronomical. Battery issues? A headache. So what's Toyota's game plan? They're not just sitting around. They've sold a ton of electric and hybrid cars, but they're not going all in like some other brands. They're mixing it up, sticking with hybrids, and keeping an eye on the electric scene without diving headfirst into it first. And here's the real twist. Toyota's dabbling in some next-level engine tech that could outdo EVs, talking about engines that run on ammonia with insane mileage. It's like they're plotting a comeback with tech that could give EVs EVs are run for their money. There's a lot going on, and honestly, it's nice to see a company not giving in to political leaders and still trying to give us as many options as possible. The Toyota IMVO, or Helix Champ, is more than just a vehicle. It's a statement on the evolving needs of the global automotive market. It strips down the concept of a vehicle to its bare essentials, focusing on durability, functionality, and affordability. Its development and potential impact in emerging markets underscore a shift towards more practical, cost-effective vehicle solutions, especially in regions where these qualities are highly valued. With its versatile platform, customizable design, and range of powertrain options, the IMVO is set to make a significant mark in the automotive world, especially in markets that value simplicity and robustness over luxury and advanced technology. Would you buy this pickup if it comes to America? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel channel for more content. Thanks for watching.